Hi guys, Jason here from Northside Marine. Just wanted to talk to you today and give you a quick run through on the 650 Surtees Game Fisher. So this one we've had optioned up with the metallic candy apple red paint, which comes out really nice. And we've optioned it with cabin paint as well. So the standard, when you order a standard painted boat, it comes with a painted side and a Nihilek, which is a clear coat on the cabin. But this one has been optioned up with the, uh, the painted cabin as well. Moving further down the boat, um, alloy trailer comes standard now. We don't supply um, any galvanised trailers anymore of any sort, so they're all alloy trailers these days. And then as you come down the back here, optioned up with the Yamaha, the brand new Yamaha F200 XCB, which is the electronic um, assisted hydraulic steering system. So this is an all new engine from Yamaha Outboards. Um, and they've been very popular so far. Then stainless prop, uh, we, we option up standard with this particular engine. And then on the back of the boat here, we've also got the trim tabs as well. So they're an option on this boat. But if you look further under, we've got the ballast flap there, which is a standard Surtees feature right the way through the range. So it's just a mechanically operated flap, really basic to use and really easy to service, okay? Um, a lot of the other brands that run the ballast system don't actually have this as standard. It's an optional extra that you have to buy and it's an add-on. Um, as you come into the boat, the boat comes standard with a, with a transom walkthrough, with, which is also incorporates your live bait tank, okay? And to make it a full transom while you're out fishing, what we actually, what Surtees have done, they've created this little door system here, which we pull up and clips into place. So that basically gives you a full transom to fish. So you can have one guy fishing either side of the boat and you've got something to lean against on this side. It's not just a void where you're just sort of falling over the back of the boat, basically. Um, it's all operated on spring-loaded clips, which are underneath the back side of the door. So you can drop it down and lift it up easily uh, whenever you need it. Um, we'll jump in the boat. So we're in the boat now. This boat, uh, there's a, quite a few different seating options for the Surtees 650. This one's actually been optioned up with a U-rail with 70 litre ice or chilli bin underneath, uh, which has also got a padded seat. The nice thing about these is that you basically open up half of the box just like that. And then that, that allows you to put fish or whatever you want to pop in there really easily. You don't actually have to pull the box out completely to do that. On the opposite side, it's been optioned up with what they call a king-queen seat option. And this is basically just all storage underneath here. So you, store, you can store whatever you like in there, life jacket, safety equipment, or things for camping, whatever you want. A lot of people, when they're optioning up the seating, they will actually go for two of the U-rail seats and ice boxes. That way they can utilise one for fish and one for food, um, which is a good family option, if you if you'd like to call it that. But it's also a nice space-saving option as well because the ice boxes tuck underneath the driver and passenger seats. Um, other options in this boat, so this one's been optioned up with a one metre shade extension on the back here. So that's fully removable. You can take that off if you're casting lures or whatnot on any given day, you can pull that off and have just an open rear cockpit here. Then the other options here, all the lighting is optional. So the rear facing uh, floodlight is optional as is the cabin roof light here. And then this one's also been optioned up with the twin, the twin aeration hatches in the hard top. So because it's a, it's a hard top boat with all sealed, no sliding windows, these are a blessing. They actually allow a lot of nice cool breeze coming down, particularly during the summer months. And that just keeps the cabin all nice and airy and cool. So they are an option, but definitely worthwhile getting. And then they lock up nicely like that. Um, so basically this one's been optioned up with a Helmmaster, so flat, flat side dash to allow a binnacle control, which is a full electronic control, so DEC control. So there's no push-pull cables or anything like that with this particular engine. It's been optioned up with the trim tabs, as I said before, but this one actually has the LED indicator auto retract as well. So basically when you turn the boat off, the trim tabs back, come back to a neutral position and they, that shows up here on the digital, on the um, LED uh, indicator on either side of that. So that's a really nice thing. Large dash, as you see, um, suit everything up to about a 16 inch screen, flush mounted inside the dash, which is really nice. And then what you've also got at the front of these boats is you've got three, three front windows.
but they pre-drill all the holes in here with just little plugs so you can actually add windscreen wipers to it whenever you're ready so if you wanted to add three wipers you can or you can order them from the factory as a standard thing from from there but um, all the glass is tinted and hardened so it's all really really solid um, likewise with the glass in the front of the live bait tank which is like your viewing window so that's all hardened glass as well they don't use any plastic for anything like that it's all it's all done properly um, the bait table at the back of the boat here is all standard all powder coated black for rod holders and the middle piece here is actually for an optional ski pole if you ever decided to add that that's just a, a, a you just basically drop it into that slot um, we spoke a little bit before about the ballast chamber that's really easy to operate you just basically operate that from here pull it tight that locks the water in it actually locks into a cam cleat in the back here and that locks the water actually in the boat so that way if you're coming home in really rough weather it allows you to give you or gives you the feel of a much heavier boat so you actually carve through it a lot nicer and lots more smoothly and then when you want to release that water pull it out of the cam cleat and release it and then as you take off the next time it will run out of there within a couple of seconds um, this, this boat, particular boat, has been optioned up with full sea deck right the way through. So with fish measures in the, on the floor as well, which most people like. Um, so a really popular option these days. It does quieten the boat down quite significantly, but it's also nice and soft underfoot for kids, you know, young families, particularly my son, he loves it. Um, so really good in that respect. If you don't get that, it just comes standard with checker plate floor, so basic checker plate. In the cabin, nice spacious cabin in the in the 650 um, 1.7 meters in length uh, of the cabin so nice and long um, and then this one's got all the infill pieces which come standard so they just clip into the middle there and that just gives you a full bunk right the way through so so that's base that's i guess the basics of it um, We've got a couple of these boats in stock here at Northside Marine, so if you're keen to come and have a look at them, feel free to let me know. Give me a call, uh, 3265-8000, or pop me an email, uh, which my email details are all on the website. Anyway, thanks for watching in, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Als wir den Anker warfen, war es himmlische Ruhe Und die Sonne stand senkrecht am Himmel Als ich über die Reling sah, da glaubte ich zu träumen Da waren tausend Boote und sie hielten auf uns zu.